Right guys, this is my tutorial on how to make a uh, fracture mesh on UDK. Right, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just with the builder brush make any shape or anything you want to destroy on. So I'm just going to add this that I've already got here, which shows that bit there. I'm going to drag that across, just get out of the way. Then here, I'm going to click on the mesh, right click, convert, convert a static mesh. Um, I'm going to put this in the groups meshes or mesh and click OK. So we're going to go to the content browser and then in the package that's just been done is your static mesh that you've just made. So to make it into a fraction mesh, you want to double click it and as you can see, there it is. You want to add a collision model to it, so you just click collision, simplify collision for now, change it later on. And you want to click the Fracture Tool button, which is here, or you can just go under Tool and Fracture Tool. Right, they both make the same thing. So there we go. Right. So what you want to do is this is the number of chunks it's going to be uh, split into in one to 150. I want to go for about 25. There we go. And then you click Generate. And as you can see, it splits into chunks. The next thing you want to do is you want to and add some support chunks so it doesn't immediately fall down. So you want to hold on control and just select the bottom ones. We should do for now. Which gives it a good support model. And then click support chunk. Okay. And then just click slice at the bottom. Can't really see it there. And you go just click slice. And then it'll rename it itself. Just click OK. And then you can close it up. So you're back at this, that's just there. This is the fractured one, as you can see. Fractured static mesh, so double click on that again. And there it is. So I'm just gonna select the material in the content browser. I'm gonna just gonna go for a basic wood material. There we go, that'll do. Just keep that selected in the browser and go back to your fractures of window and just dynamic outside material. This is you select the object and content browser. Click that. And for the other two as well, which are here and here. So and then if you want to be able to run through the model after you've shot a hole in it, you want to uncheck these two boxes, symbol box collision and symbol line collision. Just get them unchecked and then just click X. Right, if you uncheck materials, take away wood, and then if you go back to your package, just, you see, see the static mesh there? It's a wooden one I've just made. Um, I'm just going to drag that at the level. Done. So, exit that, and then delete this, and just move it into place. There we go. So, as you can see, it's just in front of the one that I had before. Just move it around so it's nice and tight. And then all you're going to do is build a geometry. It takes two seconds, as you can see. And the one behind it's disappeared. Then all you need is a player start and a light so you can see what you do. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to build all. It shouldn't take too long. And then we're going to save it after this. So, right, it's built, um, and then you want to save. File save as. I'm just going to save mine on the desktop for now. Make sure you put this DM in front of it, the DM dash, because that just makes it a deathmatch mode and it gives your character a gun, so you can actually shoot the air fracture mesh to see if it works. So I'm just going to overwrite the one that I had before. Yes. Yeah. And you're good to go. So if you click play, there we go, you've spawned, and here we go. As you can see, and then remember put the support chunks on the bottom. So you get rid of the support chunks. Everything falls down. So, and as you can see, we can walk through. Straight through, and that's 
there you have it. My tutorial on how to make a fracture mesh. So please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Thanks a lot.